Hey everyone, today I have an OU match for you as you can see in front of you and as you may notice the colour of the background has changed and that's pretty much just because I uh, decided I'm going to kind of change the colour scheme of my general videos and my YouTube round um, because my signature Pokemon used to be Articuno as you may or may not have known just from my picture and stuff but now I've more decided I actually use Zangus a bit more I know I don't use him in my videos but I do use him more in like some battles that I do that don't upload and I do overall prefer Zangus and I think he looks kind of cooler and also he has like an M on his chest so that's like M for mystical well but either way um, I'll probably try and get some battles up with him just to kind of utilize him as my signature Pokemon, otherwise you'll be kind of cheating. But yeah, um, I've changed the overall colour scheme of my videos, um, I've also changed my picture, I don't know if you noticed, you should, because it's quite cool, I'm quite proud of it, I made it myself. But um, yeah, basically I've done that, so you guys should uh, tell me what you think of this new colour, instead of obviously blue, I have got red nowadays, so let's just see what you guys think. If you guys don't like it, I'll gladly change it back, I don't really mind, but I'd, that's just what I think, because if I've got to have a red picture and like blue layout in general, I thought it'd look kind of weird. But anyway, I'm just going to get straight into the match because you guys kind of understand. Anyway, as you can see, I've got my rain team um, and I led with my electrode because I've discovered that electrode in the rain is incredible just because it gets that stab, thunder, it's 100% accurate and it's so fast. Late game, it just cleans everything up. So that's pretty much why I'm using it basically because it is amazing. So as we'll see from this match actually, it does a little bit of work in this match. But yeah, anyway. Um, I went to my Apollo just to try and get out my rain, and I didn't think this Rotom would have Thunderbolt. I was kind of hoping it would have a uh, Volt Switch instead, so I just decided to go on Hydro Pump or whatever came in. Obviously, Stadium went to Thunderbolt. Um, I'm still alive, though, that's alright, because I believe uh, he has a Tyranitar, and I'm going to want to switch out here and preserve my Apollo just for after I've killed his Tyranitar, basically, because that's pretty much the only time I can really use it now. Um, and I just go into Electrode, Prediction, another Thunderbolt, I do take that very easily just because it's uh, resisted and Electrode has like base 80 special defense, so you know, it can, it can survive it. But um, I know he's just going to switch, so I just decide to go, well I know he, he's either going to switch or he's just going to want to stay in and try and Hydro Pump me, either way I can just go for Volt Switch, get a little bit of damage off, and yeah, but if we're going to sizzle that, Volt Switch does quite a lot, um, considering Electrode like only has base 80 special attack, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I went into Machamp here because I thought honestly he wouldn't be able to break it with a U-turn, uh, but it turns out he can, and that was crazy to be honest. Like I didn't think that would be able to break my sub, but it's not even a crit and it does, and it's not even like absolute max damage. It's like it does like 28 to like 31 percent from some calcs I did the other day. So yeah, basically it shows the power of Sizzle right there. Um, but he goes into his dus Dusclops now, and I'm just going to uh, try and stay in and just go for some Stone Edge, because I don't carry Payback on this uh, guy, I carry Stone Edge, Ice Punch, Dynamic Punch, and obviously Substitute, um, and I'm not sure why I carry Stone Edge, I think I carry Stone Edge for Gyaradoses actually, but I can't really remember, but either way, I bring in Jirachi just to try and um, power flinch this thing, but then I realise, oh shit, I've got Body Slam and not uh, Thunder Wave. So, yeah, I just decided to make a wish and just go into my Electrode, and he has Shadow Sneak, which is a really, like, weird move to have on a Dusclops, because Dusclops has, like, base 1 attack, so there's no real point in having Shadow Sneak, to be honest. Um, and I guess he switches out into Sizzle here, thinking I'll go for another Foul Play, but the fact that that previous Foul Play did absolutely nothing, I'm just going to want to Volt Switch out, because it'll probably do more, but the fact that he brings in his Scissor is just a bonus, because it just basically means it will die to my Electrode, so that's a nice kill for Electrode right there. See, I told you Electrode wasn't useless. Well, I'm sure you guys never assumed it was useless, because I'm using it, and when, when do I ever use something useless besides, like, that Reuniclus one time, and that Metagross, and... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, his Dust Horse is back in, and once again, I'm just uh, in with Machamp trying to kill this bastard. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just sub up against his will o -Wisp because I thought he might want to just predict that and just go for Nightshade before, but now I've realised he's really not into doing that, so yeah. He brings his T-Tar now, actually. I don't really know why, because if anything, this is actually going to help me more, because I've got my lefties recovery going on. Uh, like, I'm not losing any HP, whereas if he goes into this Dusclops, look, it, it can't recover any HP, because it can't go for Pain Split when I'm behind a sub, and uh, he doesn't get any lefties recovery after this Sandstorm, so basically his HP is just going to keep going down, down, down. I think he's trying to PP Storm me now, but in all honesty, this Tyranitar gets 3 hit KO by a Stone Edge, so I have no problems in going for a Stone Edge right here, I believe. Um, so yeah, I can just take out that Tyranitar, and that Tyranitar's dead, which means I've won the Weather War, which will, means that all I need to do is just get in, send in Politoed at some point, and I will have my weather up to stay, and that means Electrode can do its thing. 
uh, yeah, so yeah, he uh, goes out into his heat tran now, and I thought he was baiting me to go for dynamic punch, that's why I'm with Stone Edge here, but I wish I'd gone for dynamic punch now, because dynamic punch would have actually one-shotted this heat tran, judging by how much this Stone Edge does. So, yeah, that was kind of a annoying play, but, you know, not too bad. Um, I believe I'm going to switch, and I'm going to go into maybe Electro? No, I, I go into Frogger because I want to get up my rain. Oh yeah, because I want to get up my rain for Electrode. And I knew I'd probably die anyway because I have 59 HP left. So this Flamethrower doesn't even take me out, which is pretty impressive. But uh, the burn does, so that sucks. But it doesn't matter because I am I don't really need Frogger that much. I just wanted to get up my rain one last time, which is what I managed to do. Because now Electrode can just have a field day. Volt Switch and Thunder on absolutely everything. I just went for Volt Switch just to get off a little bit of damage. Just to see how much it would do. And it does quite a bit, actually. So that basically means I know... He's going to go for a fire move, so I decided to go into Jirachi. I thought I'd be able to live two flamethrowers at the range I'm at, but looking at it now, it doesn't really quite look like it, so yeah. Uh, after the burn and everything, like after the burn, it doesn't really look like I'll be able to live it, so that kind of sucks. Um, it doesn't matter because now a lot of his guys are weak to my electrode, as we'll see in a second, because I can just bring an electrode and just start firing off thunders left, right, and center. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into Electrode and start firing off some 100% accurate Life Orb Stab Thunders. He brings in his Terrakion, I guess, predicting the Volt Switch, but I'm just like, no, fuck that, I'm going to Thunder this bitch. And this Thunder does a lot, and it paralyzes his Terrakion, and this Terrakion is obviously Scarfed, otherwise he wouldn't have brought it in the way he did. It didn't really matter, to be honest, because I could have just bring it, brought in Scarm to wall it, but it just made this job a lot easier. Because, um, yeah this Terrakion uh, is going to die, and now he's going to bring his Heatran, which also can't outspeed, so that's going to die as well. If I hadn't got burned by uh, that, that uh, thing earlier, I probably would be able to sweep through the rest of his team with this Electrode, but unfortunately because of the burn and the Life Orb recall really racking up on me, uh, Electrode is going to die here. Um, but yeah, like, Electrode pretty much did it, its job, it like swept, I think, half of his team, so that's always nice. And I decided to go into Terrakion now, because Terrakion can pretty much wreck anything. Um, I thought, I really thought a Stone Age would kill Dusclop from the Ranger Sap, but look, it lives with an app, I, I think it lives with like, minus one HP, I don't know how it lived that, and then it burns the Tain Split, get all its HP back, and I'm just like, well, f f ah, rage, so, yeah, so I just decided to go into Skarmory, because Skarmory's probably the best thing I have, because I've noticed this thing only has two attacking moves, so I can just taunt this thing, um, and it can't Pain Split or will with me, so I'm basically, um, I'm basically free to just Brave Bird it. Brave Bird crit really didn't matter because it just sped up this really long and boring process, which would have been longer and more boring uh, if, yeah, if I hadn't critted him. So yeah, he goes in his Rotom and kills me with Thunderbolt. I knew that would happen. I just wanted to free switch into Terrakion because now Terrakion can come in and just finish this thing off with a nice stab close combat to the face so yeah that's going to be the end of the game after i close combat that thing in slow motion because it looks awesome and yeah that is about it tell me what you think of the new color scheme guys um i will credit i can't remember off the top of my head who it was who um, i got the moving texture off i'll credit them in the description go check them out and everything hope it's all right to use this uh texture in that way my friend buddy if not just tell me or whatever but yeah um that is about it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you again soon thank you very much